Thank you, thank you. It is an honor to be here this evening. Thank you very much. I am honored today to be here to join you in support of peace. Just over two months ago, I had the privilege and honor of being in Israel, my second visit in two years. Thank you. In my first visit, I visited as a member of Congress, your representative. And I sat across the table from the Prime Minister and we discussed Israel's right to defend herself. And make no mistake, Israel has this right, just as America has this right. We have a right to defend ourselves against terror just as Israel does. And in the battle against terrorism, make no mistake, we stand united as one. In truth, it is hard for me to reconcile my memories of our most recent visit to Tel Aviv and Jerusalem with these images of rockets threatening and landing in the very neighborhoods and regions we peacefully and productively visited. And it is nearly impossible for me to fathom the devastation and innocent lives lost because of how and from where Hamas chooses to attack. Every evening, I lie down and I pray that the violence will come to an end and the peace in the region will flow like milk and honey for all. And yet, every morning of late, I awake with the sad realization that in this beautiful part of the world with these beautiful people remains in such conflict. And too many of our friends and family are in harm's way simply for trying to live their lives in peace and harmony. I know you feel the same, and that is why you are here. So I urge all of us to continue to offer our prayers together for peace and to continue the condemnation of terrorism and innocent lives callously and deliberately sacrificed by Hamas in the name of terror and hatred. Today, tomorrow, and always, we stand with Israel and for peace. Thank you. Thank you very much.